Welcome back to Real Talk with Brian and Dan on 1150 AM KKNW. I'm Brian. And I'm Dan. Our next guest is Rob Young of Oasis Senior Advisors. Rob was called to serve aging seniors and their families through the stressful journey when they are searching for new housing. Some seniors need just a little assistance in order to remain independent, and others need 24-hour care. Oasis Senior Advisors walks with seniors and their families through this journey with a free service that helps them find the right independent living, assisted living, adult family home, or memory care setting. Oasis is a national company that is locally owned and operated. Rob maintains certification with the Society of Certified Senior Advisors so that his clients know that he has had the independent training, testing, and business practices to serve seniors and vulnerable adults. In 2018, his peers elected him to serve as an officer of the industry association that offers continuing education, best practices, and ethics training to all referral agencies in Washington to elevate the service that the industry provides to seniors and their families. Welcome back to the show, Rob. Thank you. Good to be here. Rob, you're a return guest of ours, but still some listeners may want to get to know you. So what are the things uh, that you uh, do when you're not helping uh, seniors and their families? Well, I enjoy hiking, but i got to caution, light duty hiking. Okay. Light no, duty. no ropes. No. Uh, <laughs> not mountaineering. <laughs> no, not mountaineering. So Just, what's a favorite hike? You know, I really enjoy, like, um, going up on, Mount, on Squawk Mountain. Squawk, yeah. You know, there's some nice trails there. Tiger Mountain has some great trails. Yeah, all connected Grand up. Ridge you can trail. basically go sure. anywhere and just get anywhere. Yeah. Then we also have a puppy. Um, we uh, we just got a puppy this summer, and so that's that takes a lot of time getting him trained and things like that. It does. My wife's family is from Estonia, and we named him we named him Yuku, which means something like little buddy in Estonian. Hmm. Oh, cute. So that's cute. Um, but he's a cute little guy. Awesome. So we just finished the holiday. So tell us a holiday memory that you believe, uh, you know, you enjoyed with your family. Well, I'm going to try to apply what I just learned about storytelling. So I'm going to say um, (laughs) I was this little six-year-old kid. I was the youngest (laughs) in my family. And um, we had a family gathering with all the cousins and grandparents. We were all crammed into our house. All the kids were sleeping on mats out in the garage. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> so, <laughs> it was fun. And, you know, I mean, to this day, we have a cherished family picture of everybody down. We were down at the waterfront, and it was just gorgeous. Where and was this at? This was in Southern California. Oh, okay. I was going to say, this was not, not in Illinois. Illinois. <laughs> no. <laughs> that would have been road. really cold in the garage. <laughs> no. But, um, yeah, we lived there. Um, like Melissa's family, we moved around a lot, and at that time, we were in California. So it was, it was really a lot of fun. All right. So let's get into your topic. Uh, um, you know, essentially, it's it's kind of looking for warning signs, right, of, mm-hmm. of when it may be time to uh, either as an individual look at other alternative places to live besides the house that you raised your family in, or if you're a uh, son or daughter uh, helping your folks kind of make that decision. Uh, the first one here is um, uh, driving. Um, tell us about that. What is the... Uh, warning signs that you should be watching out for? Well, you know, early on, people are pretty good at recognizing that maybe they shouldn't be driving at night, right? And uh, you might also, if you're riding along with a parent and you're feeling scared. <laughs> well, if I got a story. Okay. <laughs> that, that, you know, it, it's okay to share how you felt when riding along in the car and then share your concern about innocent people on the sidewalks and in other vehicles um, (laughs) and, you know, encourage them to think about that. There are some really good resources at AARP's website and at the Alzheimer's Association's website and at AAA as well. Really good resources there on how to have that conversation. Um, You know, my own mom lives in in a retirement community that has a community van and bus that she can ride. She still has a red Prius, and she drives around in it. She's in her mid-80s. Mm-hmm. But she rides that bus when she wants to have door-to-door service, when she wants to interact with friends on the drive. And so when she, when she decides uh, to give up driving, it really won't be a big deal in her lifestyle because she's already accustomed to using that, that van and the bus, and she really enjoys it. When my father uh, retired from his career, he took a job driving a bus. And he, he joked about driving old people around. And he uh, was confronted because he had a sign that said, when I die, I hope I go quietly in my sleep. 
not screaming and in terror like the people on my bus. <laughs> he had that sign on his bus. Yeah. <laughs> he had to take that one down for obvious reasons. Yeah. Yeah. But got to love the humor. So, but mm-hmm. yeah, that's good. Your comments on driving. It can be, that, that was a tough one for my family. So well, when it came to my dad. It's linked to independence. Yeah. And for so many people, it's uh, having that independence and giving it up is, is it's a loss that they need to grieve. It's huge. Yeah. Right. It's huge. And it doesn't need to be. Um, you know, it, it doesn't need to be a loss of independence. Hmm. So, obvious question. Um, I mean, what is Oasis? Tell tell us about that. Well, Oasis is we're we're a, a middleman, so we help people find the right place for them. Kind of like Match dot com, where you might be swiping left a whole lot of times. We'll already identify the ones that you should be swiping right on. And we'll, we'll set up tours for you at those few places and accompany you on tours, answer questions, let you know kind of the pros and cons on each. We're unbiased with respect to the communities. Nearly every op- option in King County is in our inventory. Um, hmm. So, you know, you're really not restricting your access. And, and we're kind of neutral on the ones you know, between the ones in our inventory. Uh, hmm. But once we're presenting one to you, it's one that we really believe is a good fit for you. Right. And when you think maybe you just developed a new app, or the, the, you know, whatever you want to call it, you know, Tinder for, for grandparents or whatever. <laughs> it's why I left your right for the, for the right location. I think the interesting. There's more of that than you might think. There, well, oh. we won't go there. This is a family friendly show. But I would say. Uh, having the ability to actually disseminate the information. And Brian and I are like that in real estate, right? We're, mm-hmm. Right. There's, you can search for all the homes you want. You can search all the locations of uh, assisted living, memory care, et cetera, et, et cetera. But there's a difference between what you read online, see online, what the salespeople tell you when you walk in the door. You're an advocate. Uh, mm-hmm. Oasis Senior Advisors, your advocates advising. You're disseminating the information from both parties. Mm-hmm. Um, but at the end of the day, we're the advocate for the senior. At the end of the day, that's where it comes from. Right. Yeah. So you, you say your service is free. What's the catch? Well, it is free to the seniors and their families. We will never send you a bill, seniors and families. Okay. We do get financial support from the communities and the adult family homes that we serve, you know, that we, that we work with. And um, we have, they don't pay us out of the goodness of their hearts. We have a contract with them, kind of like a listing agreement in your case. Hmm. Mm-hmm. And that agreement also says they won't charge our person any more than anyone else, right? So even though they are paying us a fee for that client, they can't recoup our fee through our client. They kind of have to eat it in their overhead. Sure. And that lets us tell people, no, our service really is free to you. So sometimes I know they'll offer incentives. Do they diminish the incentives when they work, like, you know, first month, a discounted rate or something? I'm frequently calling clients with the incentives that are now available sure. on an apartment. So there really is no downside. Right. That's great. Right. Hmm. So um, why do you recommend most come to you uh, to get help? Why, why a professional versus just going direct? Sure. Well, you know, if you've done this a lot, you probably don't need a professional. But if this is the first time or maybe the second or third time you've ever had to find a place for your loved one or for yourself, it can be really intimidating and daunting. A lot of aspects of the industry are opaque, so you can't see it. As an example, there's over a thousand adult family homes in King County. Most of them don't have a sign on the on the front and wow. don't have a website. So how do you find them, much less find one that has availability when you need it? Or that ha- can accommodate the particular care needs that you have? And how do those facilities in. find you? Well, um, there are not that many people in my business, so they do call us pretty regularly. And then I can, ser- I can do research on them before I ever show up. But I'm not going to recommend a place to a client that we haven't been to, hmm. right? So, yeah. you know, we, we actually go there in advance. We take pictures. <clears throat> we collect data. Um, we scour the state's regulatory database to see if there's anything that we should be concerned about. So are there some that you refuse to represent? I was going to ask that. There, yeah. there are places that I will not. I've told them I wouldn't, um, and I told them why. I said, if you fix this, I will. There mm-hmm. you go. And, um, you know, I can think of one assisted living community in particular. Um, almost 100 people live there where I told them I wouldn't refer to them until they fixed something. Mm-hmm. And 
They did. They did. Oh, I was like, well, waiting for the. They did. It, cool. it took a little while. It was it was a case where I wasn't sure if it was a staff problem or a budget problem. Um, that staff person's no longer with that company. I know where he went, so I'm watching that place. Yeah. And I also, but I saw the thing that things changed. So they may have. It may have just been a budget issue, and the staffing change was a coincidence. I don't know. But what I do know is the results changed. So a lot of folks can hop on the Internet and do searches um, uh, for homes and for senior uh, homes. Sure. What do you recommend there? Well, if you are on the Internet, um, you'll often see when you're looking at a community a little button that says, click here to talk with a, a trusted local advisor or click here for pricing information. I strongly advise caution when clicking on those. Oftentimes the website will say, by clicking above, you've agreed to our terms of service. And it'll have that in fine print at the bottom. Their terms of service are hyperlinked, and it's a 22-page legal document somewhere else. Mm. That legal document, you may have agreed to credit checks. You may have waived Mm. rights. We will never ask you to waive any rights. And actually, none of the reputable agencies in the state of Washington will. And we will actually disclose to you that we will not ask you to waive your rights. All right. So we have time for one quick last question. How long does your process take? How, ad- how far advanced should, we be, should you be talking to someone? You know, we can talk with people a year in advance. Usually we're talking two to six weeks in advance. But we can also help somebody if they're being discharged from a rehab day after tomorrow. And they can't go home. You can work pretty quickly. We can work in two days. Wow. Okay. So, Rob, thank you for coming on the show today. It's really great to have you back. I'm grateful for the conversation today. Any special offers available for our listeners? Yes. Our service is free to <laughs> seniors. That's pretty special. Families, That's right? pretty special. Yeah. I like that. So, remember. 100% discount. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> remember that all the segments of our show are available to watch at your YouTube channel. Or, excuse me, our YouTube channel. If you're interested in learning more about any of our guests, please subscribe. Join us after the break for some final thoughts and something fun to do this holiday.